market. As far as can you invest in halal stock and can you do it for a short term, for a day or for a week or for a few hours. As far as if you want to invest in stock, first you have to identify whether the stock that you are investing is halal. There are various criteria of how to analyze whether the stock that you are purchasing, the shares of your purchasing of a company is halal or not. Number one, the major activity of the company should not be haram. It should not be dealing in alcohol. It should not be dealing in pork. So the number one is it should, it should not be a bank which is based on riba, the conventional bank. The activity, basic activity should not be haram. Number two, there are various other criteria that the company should not take so much loan that the debt to the cash ratio is very high. So there are fukahas and scholars who have devised that the activity should not be haram and even the debt taken should be a minute percentage. The various criteria. So you have got indexes. For example, you have the Dow Jones index of Islamic stocks. So these people are experts and they lay the criteria why these stocks are halal, why these stocks are not halal, it's haram. So if it is identified as a halal stock by an expert fuqaha in this field or an Islamic organization which is specialized, you can invest in that. In stock, it's permissible. The second part of the question, can you invest for a short time? For a few hours, for a day, for a week and I'm expert, I'm not, I'm not gambling because I am doing a calculation. See, when you buy shares, is actually you are becoming a shareholder. I am asking a simple question with all the calculation. Will you physically be a partner, not shares, physically be a partner of a business only for one hour? And the answer is no. Will you, with all your calculation, will you say, okay, I want to be a partner for one hour? No, you cannot. <laughs> physically, if you say that I want to share and become a partner for a day, would you become of a company? No, you cannot. So stock exchange gives us easy flexibility to buy shares, but that does not mean you should gamble. If it's done for a short period, intentionally that I will sell it when it goes off, give and you keep it for a few hours or for, or for a day or a few days, it tantamounts to gambling. If it's done unintentionally that you want to keep it for a few years and then you realize something market has crashed and then you want to sell it, that's acceptable. But from first you plan that you're going to sell it as soon as it increases even if it's a few hours or not, this is speculation and this is not permitted in Islam. So you can involve in stock if it's a halal stock, halal share, but don't speculate, don't do it for few hours, keep it for a long term. Okay. As far as can you invest in halal stock and can you do it for a short term, for a day or for a week or for a few hours, as far as if you want to invest in stock, first you have to identify whether the stock that you're investing is halal. There are various criteria of how to analyze whether the stock that you're purchasing, the shares of your purchasing of a company is halal or not. Number one, the major activity of the company should not be haram. It should not be dealing in alcohol. It should not be dealing in pork. So the number one is it should, it should not be a bank which is based on riba, the conventional bank. The activity, basic activity should not be haram. Number two, there are various other criteria that the company should not take so much loan that the debt to the cash ratio is very high. So there are fukahas and scholars who have devised that the activity should not be haram and even the debt taken should be a minute percentage. The various criteria. So you have got indexes. For example, you have the Dow Jones index of Islamic stocks.